guys, welcome back to Tori Does Everything. On today's episode, I'm back from surgery. I'm going to Arkansas Comic Con 2023. We're going to meet lots of celebrities, and you'll get to see all of it, hopefully, if they last to record, of course. And if they don't, that's okay. We're going to film at home and show you everything we got anyway. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, we're in line for Shamit Moore, aka Miles Morales Spider Man. Okay, we're gonna get this signed, mm -hmm. and we're very excited. We're kind of close to the front of the line, not yeah. too bad. First of all, we met Shamit Moore, aka Spider Man. So I got this Funko Pop sign of the end of the Spider Verse, so that was pretty cool. And I asked him, "What was your, who's your favorite Spider Man?" And he said he liked Spider Punk the best, besides obviously his character Miles. And I also asked him what his favorite role he's ever done was. He said it kind of depends on day to day, but mainly Spider-Man. And shout out to the little boy in line that was having a midlife crisis. You were super cool. <laughs> How old was he? Eleven. <laughs> he didn't have time for girls. He was a lot of fun to talk to. Uh, let us know your first name in the comments if you see this, because mm -hmm. we really enjoyed talking to you. Yeah. Then we met Jim Cummings, aka Winnie the Pooh, Ray from Princess and the Frog. Tons of Disney voices and stuff like that. Um, he was super cool. I asked him, what's your favorite voice that you do? And he said, this one, because I don't have to act or anything. So just my regular voice. <laughs> He's done tons of voices. Rizal and Aladdin. Um, let's see, who else? He's done Ray and Princess and the Frog. I think he did Scar in the Lion King series. Yeah, he does a lot of sequel voices too. Like King Triton and Little Mermaid 3. Just tons of very iconic characters, things oh, like that. What voice did he do for you while you were in line? Winnie the Pooh. It was very sweet, mm -hmm. and it sounded so cute coming out of him. Also, in line, we met a really nice lady. What had she done? Something amazing. She put together this giant puzzle. Uh, was it Tigger or Winnie the Pooh? Tigger. Tigger, yeah. And it was giant. Uh, she said it took her three days to do. Yeah, and the puzzle was rare. It had an extra piece to it, so she glued it on the side and had him autograph it. Shout out to her for dedication. That was mm -hmm. really, really good. He also does a Tigger voice. So. Yeah. So then next, probably the longest line. No, no, not the longest one. Not the longest. But, Second longest. But you had to buy a ticket to get in the line. It was still cool. Mm -hmm. It was worth it. Was William Shatner, a.k.a. Captain Kirk. So I didn't sign it uh, with his name and then Captain Kirk on it. Uh, he was really nice. I asked him uh, what his favorite role that he's ever done was, and he said, uh, this one that I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, and, and he was really sweet. He was really fast and just mm -hmm. was signing the autographs. Because it's such, such a long line. But he did look up to Tor at Tori mm -hmm. and talk to her for a second. So. And mm -hmm. I don't think he looked up at very many people. He was signing, mm -hmm. signing. And... Although he was very yeah. nice. Very, he was very nice. nice. He wasn't rude to anybody. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite um, thing that he's done that you've seen? The Unexplained on Netflix, which is more of a documentary than a show like Star Trek or anything like Mine that. is one of the greatest action movies of all time called Loaded Weapon. I don't know that one. Starring him, Samuel L. Jackson, and Emilio Estevez. Okay, mine is his Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> so y'all go, we'll link that in the description. Mm -hmm. um, also, also, in line, who did we meet? Lisa, who we cannot say what... The conversation was. But it was hilarious, and if you comment on this video, we'll, we, we'll probably remember you forever, honestly. Yeah, Lisa, you be sure you <laughs> comment in this video. Not only did the autograph you got probably be remembered from now on, the conversation about that autograph that you got will be remembered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was very memorable and funny, so mm -hmm. even though it's not kid-friendly, it's uh, was oh, definitely memorable. Yeah. Also in line, who did you meet? We also met... Uh, Cosplayers that uh, cosplay Jimmy Dugan and Dottie from A League of Their Own. Here on Tori Does Everything, she really does do everything. Who have you got with you? Dottie and Jimmy Dugan. Oh, it's nice to see y'all. There's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. And then... Felicia Day, who played the main girl of Mystery Science Theater 3000. And I love Mystery Science Theater. It's hilarious. If you don't know what it is... Go on Netflix and watch it right now. It's hilarious. Which one should they watch first? I like the daytime ended the most. The daytime ended is probably my favorite. 
Mm-hmm. Wise men still see him. <laughs> okay, so shout out to Ellie. She also likes uh, Mystery Science Theater. So yeah. shout out to you. And I actually asked her some questions. I said, what's your favorite role that you've ever done? And she said that she liked uh, the guild a lot because she helped come up with that character herself. And I asked her about, like, oh, I love you in Mystery Science Theater. What's your favorite bad movie from that show? She said, three, Santa Claus and the Martians, Mando's The Hands of Fate, and Hercules, because her and her brother actually wrote the script for that one. And she said that she got the role on the show after meeting Joel at a convention. And just to rub it in her brother's face, ha ha, I met him and you didn't. And then she got hired, <laughs> and then she was like, ha ha, even more. And then her brother got to write for the show, so... <laughs> So, was she maybe your favorite person you met? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, and we didn't really expect that, but mm-hmm. that was wonderful. She was so nice. And then we met a person who was a pleasant surprise to see the fact that they've made enough money in life. That, that all the money that they make from conventions goes to charity. And that is... Paul Williams, who is both a songwriter and an actor. You might know... His songs that he wrote for the Muppets, like the Rainbow Connection, stuff like that. He wrote just an old-fashioned love song for Three Dog Night. He wrote We've Only Just Begun by for the Carpenters. And he was Little Enos and Smokey and the Bandit. Mm-hmm. Rainbow <laughs> Connection for lovers and dreamers and me. <laughs> we love alligator. <laughs> we love Kermit the Frog, <laughs> and we also love Miss Piggy. But yes. anyhow, we we love the Muppets. Muppets is great. Mm-hmm. But he was so nice. We asked him uh, two questions: What's your favorite song that you've ever written, and favorite movie role that you've done? And he said, the "Song he's written is the song that Gonzo sings in the Muppet movie." Whenever he flies with a balloon because he's a flightless bird, which I didn't even know he was a bird, so that was cool. <laughs> and then I asked him a favorite movie role that he's done, which I don't know if I'm saying the movie title correctly. Phantom of the Blue? Phantom of the Thread? Something like that. But anyway, I'll have to go watch it after this. Okay, so he was wonderful and such a talented man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next would probably be the longest line we was in for the day. Mm-hmm. Can I am for Christopher Lloyd. Check. And there's some really good cosplays. Yeah, look at this. We got. Y'all want to say hi? You want to wait? Look at this. We've got Gomez and Morticia. Very cool. And the line is really long, guys. It's gonna be fun though. Crazy number high for abs. All right, look who finally got in. Finally made it. Ah, hi, Chris and Amber. How long did y'all wait in line? Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Hey, we're back home. Uh, we weren't allowed to film the stars or anything like that so we're just going to tell you what happened and it's our finale uh, so we just got a headshot mm-hmm. and it was very nice mm-hmm. it, look how beautiful this face is <laughs> <laughs> christopher lloyd aka dark brown from back to the future so that was uh, really exciting and he doesn't personalize a lot of his autographs but they made an exception for me so it's pretty special. Yeah, he doesn't write anyone's name on it. He just mm-hmm. writes his name. Mm-hmm. But for this one, he wrote to Tori, wishing you the very best with a bunch of exclamation marks. Mm-hmm. So, yes. And you want to tell him what his favorite Back to the Future was? Number three, because there was a lot of horse riding in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, he was not able, his line was so long that we weren't able to spend a lot of time with him, mm-hmm. but he was very pleasant, mm-hmm. and we hope he had a wonderful day yesterday. He met a lot of fans. Mm-hmm. He met a lot of fans. Mm-hmm. I think he was the star of the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Him and Shatner, both. So, it was fun not to just meet the stars, but also fans in line that had pretty cool cosplays. There were a lot of really good cosplays. There was one guy that kept walking by the Paul Williams area. It was dressed as the bandit from Smokey and the Bandit. Well, he also and had he looked the, just like him. He also had the sheriff with him and mm-hmm. the son that was in a... Poor guy had to wear a tuxedo all day <laughs> to be the groom that got stood up at the <laughs> yeah. altar. And unfortunately, every time I went to take a picture, they turned their backs. <laughs> yeah. I did not get a picture. I will say but. they did look identical mm-hmm. to the sheriff, to Bandit. Mm-hmm. Into the sun. Oh, it was good. Mm -hmm. We saw a good poison ivy. Mm -hmm. Also, people were walking so fast I couldn't get their pictures in time. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm sure if you go on the Arkansas Comic Con website, they'll have lots of pictures of Mm -hmm. who they were. So we'll link that below. Yeah. So we're out. It was a third day of the convention. 
Press the name that you buy it to go. It was really fun. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Go on this Twitch channel. I'm not sure. Hey, my this is you. Bye. 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 And Tori now has merch. Go check it out at bonfire.com. Link in the description and under the About tab. Bye!